Between all the combat and tasks to complete in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you'll also have a bit of downtime for your party members to take a break and enjoy the beach in Costa del Sol. But first, you'll need a change in the beachwear for that fun in the sun, and there are a few options to choose from that also impact your relationships with some characters. Here's everything you need to know about how to get all six swimsuits and which ones you should wear during the story to impress Tifa and Aerith. To access swimsuits in Costa del Sol, you'll need to participate in the Costa del Amor event. Advance the main quest in Chapter 6 until you meet Johnny, who will offer you a room at his seaside inn. Cloud will drop off his sword in the room, and then the Costa de la Moor cutscene will automatically start when you head back to the city center. A few of the dancers explain that this special event pairs guests to play games together in the area. They'll hand Cloud a ticket to find his match, and together you'll need to win the games to earn companion cards, then you can exchange those companion cards for beachwear. In the first part of the Costa de la Moor event, you'll play as Cloud. There are two mini-games to earn companion cards for him, Pirate's Rampage and Card Carnival. Pirate's Rampage is located in the northeast part of Costa del Sol. Cloud is paired up with Barrett for this first sharpshooting challenge. The attendant does not let Barrett compete because he's a professional with firearms, so you'll need to earn your points alone. Your goal is to hit the targets and get a high score. You will earn a companion card at rank 1 for a target score of 10,000 points, but if you reach the higher ranks, you'll earn additional rewards. Card Carnival is located near the docks on the east part of Costa del Sol. Cloud is paired up here with Regina from the Queen's Blood Tournament. She's already completed the required challenges, so now it's your turn to try your hand at this puzzle version of Queen's Blood. In this setup, the opponent's cards are already placed on the board, and you are provided with a set of cards by the house. Your goal is to complete three easy rank card challenges to win a companion card for Cloud. Here are all the solutions. In the second part of the Costa de la Moor event, you'll play as both Tifa and Aerith. There are four mini-games to earn companion cards for them. Cactuar Caper, Royal Coast Concert, Wheelie Rendezvous, and Run Wild. All locations are marked on your map. Cactuar Caper is located next to the Beachwear Exchange booth across from the Royal Coast Hotel. You'll run into a familiar character from Final Fantasy VII Remake, Shinra Middle Manager. He needs a partner, and Aerith graciously decides to help. Your goal is to find and take photos of four Cactuars hidden around Costa del Sol. Use your map to snap them all and turn in your photos to the studio employee to earn a companion card for Aerith. Here are all the locations. Royal Coast Concert is located inside the Royal Coast Hotel lobby. Here you'll find out the pianist left town to elope and they need someone to fill in for the scheduled concert. Your task is to play Tifa's theme for the audience to earn a companion card for Tifa. Wheelie Rendezvous is located at the Wheelie Station in the southern part of Costa del Sol. Jenny, the Wheelie Store employee, quits her job and the manager calls on you for help. Your goal is to find all the left-behind red, blue, and yellow wheelies scattered around Costa del Sol and return them to their corresponding parking spots. Once all the missing wheelies are parked, you'll receive a companion card for Tifa. Ren Wild is located at the Animal Playground in the southwest part of Costa del Sol. Speak to the animal handler to enter Red 13 into a four-team challenge. To win, chase the ball around the field and shoot it into the opponent's goals. You need to finish the game in second place or higher to earn a companion card for Aerith. If you rank first place, you'll receive additional rewards. After earning your companion cards, head to a beachwear exchange booth to trade your cards for swimsuits. There are two locations in Costa del Sol. One is in front of the changing rooms across from the Royal Coast Hotel, and the other is next to the weapon shop in the Northwest. Speak to the companion card shop attendant to see your available options. Though you only need to acquire one swimsuit per character to access the beach, you'll want to complete all previous minigames to unlock every swimsuit option. 
Cloud has the Ocean Chocobo Casual Ensemble and the Wild Surf Shirtless option. Aerith has the Floral Delight Long Skirt Outfit and the Pink Mermaid Short Skirt Swimsuit. And Tifa has the Majestic Glamour Jean Shorts Ensemble and the Shining Spirit Two-Piece Swimsuit. Now that you've acquired all the swimsuit options, it's time to head to the beach. You have to choose Cloud's beachwear first in the main quest line, so remember your choice because there are relationship consequences for the swimsuits you choose for Aerith and Tifa. If you're aiming to take one of these girls on a date at the Gold Saucer, you want to make sure that you have the same taste in beachwear. If you chose the Ocean Chocobo option for Cloud, you want to choose Floral Delight to increase your relationship with Aerith or Majestic Glamour to increase your relationship with Tifa. Well, Red, how do we look? If you chose the Wild Surf option for Cloud, you want to choose Pink Mermaid to increase your relationship with Aerith or Shining Spirit to increase your relationship with Tifa. Did you miss us? Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no. You can increase the relationship with both Tifa and Aerith at the same time as long as you choose the corresponding options to match Cloud's outfit. Once you've locked in your swimsuit choices, head to the beach to start the cutscene where Tifa and Aerith join Cloud on the beach. And that's how to get all six swimsuits in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Be sure to check out our video guide on how to increase relationship levels so you can treat a party member on a date in the Gold Saucer, and head on over to IGN.com for more Final Fantasy tips and tricks in our wiki guide. For everything else video games, stick with IGN.